Hi, Pat and Linda Pirelli here with another savvy tip today. How to get your horse to go comfortably in company. You know, a lot of times when horses are ridden with other horses, they get scared of horses coming at them or coming behind them, rushing up and all kinds of things. We've got a couple of techniques here that are both simple and very natural. My job is to be consistent so Pat can rely on me just circling around this and do whatever he needs to with the horse that needs more confidence. So off I go. All right. What Linda's going to do is she's going to canter around the outside of this 50-foot round crowd. These are preferred panels, and we put these up as temporary panels and pins everywhere, and we can move them around. And it makes a really nice little thing to do what we're going to do. This horse, her name is Cash, she used to really hate it when other horses came at her like this. <gasps> that used to really bother her. And what bothered her even more is when horses came up from behind her going faster. Maybe you've experienced this on a trail ride. So here's some things you can do. You can start off out here in the middle of the round corral, all right? So now, if I'm going against the opposite way that Linda's going, if I'm going against the traffic, I can go, okay, my horse is comfortable here at this distance away. And then what I did is I just slowly but surely, I got her used to this. And if she got afraid, I could always peel away. And I'm in a safe spot. See, if you're on a horse that's really anxious or over-spirited uh, or something like that, a lot of times they're sensitive. These horses really can get bothered by this. But by having the consistency there, then we can start to, to judge, here comes the motion. Next thing we can do, we can do the same thing, but going behind. So these are just some really easy ideas. It keeps you safe, and you can always go away. Using approach and retreat, you can go back into the middle. All right? Then, of course, I could take off here, and I could ask her to lope around. All right? Go like this, and get used to the both of them going there. I can cut over here, head toward Linda. Linda and I can get to where we can now do a little pot de do and we can start to ride along here like this. So a lot of times, people put themselves in a position to where things are not going to work out. Just remember, prior and proper preparation is what prevents pee poor performance. So this is the idea, is that you've got to have the preparation. Before you go out there and risk your life on a trail ride, make sure that your horse, through simulation, has experienced all kinds of things that you would have them do out on the trail. Get ready to be successful.